This is now entering the southern part of the city of Lubbock. Is it producing a tornado? No. Could it? Yes. So why are we still talking about the same thing over and over again? Because we're trying to let as many people as possible know 82nd Street, and this is Indiana there. Near 82nd in Indiana is where the strongest rotation on this thunderstorm is. It is not tornadic at the time. Could it become tornadic? Yes. In fact, Troy, let's get the Quaker and 82nd Street sky cam up, and we'll take a look at that here in just a moment, see if we can get a good viewpoint on that part of the thunderstorm. Um, uh, I don't think there's going to be anything on that. Instead, what we'll do, widen this just a little bit more, and we'll talk about the other part of this thunderstorm that has the potential to rotate and eventually could possibly try to produce tornado. Down here, just north of New Home, you can see how the rotation is coming back around the back side of this. This is what we call a hook echo, and that's an indication that the precipitation is wrapping around. That wrap occurs because there's rotation in the thunderstorm. Remote 2, is that remote 2? Is that what that is? Remote 2, let's pop it up. This is one of our wall clouds. This is the wall cloud that's moving in the city of Lubbock right now. You can see separation between the base of it and the ground. Holly, you still on the phone with me? Mm. Let's get our Holly McCarthy back on the phone here in just a second if we can. Um, and that might be something. Hand my cell phone to Troy. I mean, not hand my cell phone to one of the two on the desk. We appreciate Brian and Terry for coming on in. They're going to do us some help on the desk. Look up Holly and give her a call and see if she can call back upstairs. Um, so this is our wall cloud in South Lubbock. Is it producing a tornado? No. Is that good news? Yes. That's very, very good news. So as long as we have a viewpoint on this thunderstorm, we can know for sure that we're not dealing with a tornado on the ground, which we're not. So there's plenty of rotation with this. I know there are probably a lot of people scared at home. Don't be scared. Big, big hail. Lots of heavy rainfall. Tornado? No. So that's some good news. But certainly is rotating violently, and could it eventually try to do that? Yes. So we'll have to continue to monitor that right now. Back to live storm track, a digital Doppler radar. That right there is that right there. Holly? Yes. I've just said that twice. What is? What are you seeing from your perspective? Are we seeing any clouds being sucked up into the rotating wall cloud, or is this just a wall cloud sitting there spinning around? Um, basically, we're still in the same location where we're at, not really seeing a, a well-defined visible wall cloud anymore in this particular location. We're still along the interstate, right along um, 114th Street, looking west. At this point, still seeing some vertical motion, that's for sure, but not the well-defined wall cloud that we had a little bit earlier. Pop up Source 521 for a second, if you would, please. Um, stand Source 521. Uh, and we'll take a look at that. So this is, I have your camera up from your location, I believe. I'm looking at a rain and hail shaft and then the trailing edge of a wall cloud. Is that correct? Are you with me? I, yeah, I'm with you. I, I think I'm okay. looking at your camera. It looked oh, do, at the, you, do you have our live stream? Yeah, yeah I have, have your live stream. I'm not sure if it's still updating. It was updating just a second ago, but I see a hail shaft and mm -hmm. then I see a wall cloud with some sort of slight appendage on the back side. Is that what you're viewing from your location? Um, I can see what you're talking about there, and um, not really a well-defined wall cloud. It kind of looks like it is so when you see it there on our uh, live stream. Um, as far as upward motion, still seeing some of that, but not the defined rotation like we had a little bit earlier. Okay. A wall cloud does not say, yes, a tornado is going to happen. What a wall cloud is, is a wall cloud is a lowered part of a thunderstorm because the air is being sucked up into the thunderstorm with great velocity or great speed. What happens is it actually lowers the base of the thunderstorm somewhat. That's where the wall cloud forms. Wall clouds happen on a lot of thunderstorms that do not produce tornadoes. They're all supercell thunderstorms, typically, but they're thunderstorms that ne don't necessarily produce tornadoes. Um, well, let's go back to our radar. Thank you. Um, but So you have the well-defined wall cloud there sometimes, but it doesn't necessarily have to produce a tornado. That's basically what I'm trying to say. It's just a lower part of a thunderstorm that sometimes the tornado will pop out of, and sometimes it won't. Um, now, new tornado warning out for northeastern Lubbock County, including very near the city of Idaloo for this thunderstorm that we were mentioning here just a minute ago in northeastern Lubbock County. The part we're concerned about is just to the southeast of Idaloo. Great news if you live in Idaloo, because this is going to pass probably between Idaloo and Lorenzo for the um, most intense portion of this thunderstorm. What is the volume scan time on that? 501, so this is a new volume scan. 
Okay, well, that's why, right there. That, that's why, right there. So we go back to live, and you'll notice a difference here. The difference is because we're dealing with live radar here versus next rad radar of the airport there. So this has rotation. Frankly, this has the best rotation of any of the thunderstorms that we have right now in Lubbock County. Crosby, Floyd, and Hale until 545. Is that included for, for this storm? Lubbock, Crosby, Hale, um, and Floyd counties until 545. This storm is heading toward the northeast at around 30 miles per hour. Widen this back out countywide around Lubbock County. You'll know severe thunderstorms all over the place. Gigantic hail all over the place. That's why we're not talking about it. It's hailing everywhere, and in most cases, it's going to be very big. Remote 2 right now. Still monitoring the wall cloud over South Lubbock. And what I'll point out on this perspective, I believe it's Remote 2. Correct me if I'm wrong, Stan. Is that Remote 2 or Remote 1? Stan, are you there? Remote 2? Okay, yeah. Let's go to Remote 2. And we'll show here is the rotating wall cloud that everybody's been talking about in southern Lubbock County. And right there is the reason why I can't hear myself think right now. That is very large hailstones falling in south and central Lubbock because of this thunderstorm. And this is not unconnected. You get the big hailstones because this vigorously rotating thunderstorm is able to keep stuff up longer. So the same reason it's vigorously rotating and you get the large hailstones is the same reason why you get the tornadoes to form because it's a very vigorous thunderstorm. But if a tornado was going to pop out of this, right there is where it would happen. And you're looking with me at home. Do we see a tornado? No. Not right now we don't. Yeah, would somebody be able to run outside and get the dangerous job of checking for a large hailstone for me? Or at least just look out the door and see what you see. You don't have to bring me one, but just look outside and see what we have going on. Very large hail falling in South Lubbock right now. Live storm track digital Doppler radar in and around Lubbock County. Let's go just street level. Take it down to view one, please. Okay, we'll get to that. Give me just a second. Bring it, bring it into just south of Lubbock, street level. Let's talk about the rotation on this uh, thunderstorm and where it's located now. Latest look on this. Lapses for me, Troy, if you could. Right there is still where our rotating wall cloud is. It is intensely rotating. It is not producing a tornado. And very large hail is pro forming just north of that. Troy, what are you saying? Two north of Woodruff. That's what we were talking about just a minute ago. Let's widen this out. Now we're getting reports from our storm trackers. A new rotation just north of Woodrow, right there, which we've been talking about for probably the last uh, 15 to 20 minutes or so. The next bogey. So that means after all this hail comes through, especially for the eastern side of the city, east of the interstate, better likelihood that we could start to see very large hail again moving through and maybe another we're probably going to be in tornado warnings for the better part of the next hour, so I hope you're used to looking at my face because there's going to be a lot more of that coming. Um, rotate. They had a camera pointed out the back door. I believe that's Cam 5. Let's go to our Cam 5 for a second. Thank you, Brian. This is why we have Brian Mudd in here. He's thinking, and we're cleaning off our lens. Let's take a look at it. The hail is now beginning to stop. It'd be great if we get them to pound down and take a look. We're looking at our producer Lisa's car. I do not see hail damage now. Good for her. Who do we have on the line right now? You're on KLBK. Who's this? This is Holly. Oh, okay. You're back. <laughs> Holly, <laughs> anything? Here. Uh, let me pass on some information. Spotters now starting to watch, and I'm starting to become more concerned with the storm that is on, on the Lynn and um, Lubbock County line, back to live storm track and digital Doppler radar. As you can see, that's hailstones that are a little less than golf ball size right now. Live storm track, digital Doppler radar. Um, Holly, we're talking about a storm that is south of, um, of your storm, and the, the center of rotation, frankly, is about three south of slide. Um, spotters are starting to see some rotation on this thunderstorm, and it's starting to increase in intensity. It's something I'm becoming more and more increasingly concerned about. Um, are you staying put and waiting for um, storm one to kind of pass by and uh, watch storm number two? Or what is what are your plans at the present time? Basically now we've gone down to FM 85. I believe where we're at now is heading eastward now. We're eastbound, just trying to stay ahead of the storm here. Now seeing a little bit more increase in uh, rotation with that wall cloud that we were observing. So you are seeing more increased rotation on that wall cloud. Okay. And that, that would be... 
about how many miles away from your location? Um, I would have to say it's about one to two miles west of where we're at right now. One to two miles west of where you're at right now. Okay, and you're on the interstate? Is that what you said? No, we are now heading eastbound on FM. 1585. Okay, you're heading east on 1585. Okay, that'll actually get you in good position for a second storm, too, mm -hmm. I think. Well, there's just a lot of itty bitty pea sized they went out and grabbed for us, so that's some great news. It means no new hail dents in my car. Okay, yeah. a lot of hail out there with all these thunderstorms this afternoon and potential. Okay, let's take a look at it. Three southeast of Idaloo now, very strong rotation, not only on a uh, live storm track digital Doppler, on Nexrad Doppler radar. Widen this just a smear. Oh, right there. That is that is where it's at. Let's look at let's look at reflectivity out of Lubbock right now. And let's get Idaloo East up here in a second. Hi, um, we're probably gonna quit doing that. Let's pull up the Ida Louise Skycam. The best way to do that is using this list here. It'll say still. Yeah, I'll let you do that there. Still Ida Louise East. And the reason we're doing that is our Ida Louise Skycam located right about there would have, unfortunately, a through the rain perspective of this. Let's look at our Ida Louise Skycam and we're not gonna see anything. That's the way that works. Okay. So we're looking through the rain shaft. We're not going to be able to see the rotation. Back to digital Doppler radar right now to look at this. There's where our, there's a couple areas of rotation there. Look at that one right there. Look at Nexrad out of Lubbock. Um, regular Nexrad out of Lubbock. Let's, no, no, no. I mean, yeah, there we are. That's right there. Eee, this is hard to pick out on the reflectivity. Um, okay, back to live then because this is a couple minutes old, this data here, ne Nexrad data is. So let's look at our live radar, and that is right there. So that's where that rotation is. So we would be, if we had a perspective of this storm, we'd be looking right at it from our Idaloo sky cam. Strong rotation on this, widen this out a little bit. For Lorenzo and Idaloo, you're out of the woods. This is past you, so you're good to go there. There are other storms to worry about, but this initial storm with the strongest rotation, part of the tornado warning that's for the four county area, including Crosby, Lubbock, Hale, and um, Floyd, this storm is north of you. Now, this is fortunately going into some fairly open ranch land. As far as Petersburg is concerned, you're going to see some large hail from this storm. As far as you're concerned with the tornado or tornadic potential, that will stay a little bit to your east. Let's go back to South Lubbock right now. Not to beat a dead horse, but our SkyCam network has uh, showed increased rotation on the storm in different sections. And this is what our um, a live shot from the southeast loop in Lubbock looking at the base of this thunderstorm shows us. You can see all of the large hailstones in the background there. We've had an extended duration of large hail occurring in many parts of the city, and some of those hailstones in excess of golf ball size. That's what this hazy gray in the background is. This darker gray in the foreground is our wall cloud. If we were going to see a tornado, we would see it. Do you see it? Neither do I. Um, hail size picking up on South Loop and University because I can now not think, hear myself think. New tornado warning on that. Okay, we'll talk about that here in a second. Here are the large hailstones falling outside South Loop and University in Lubbock. As you can see, up to around quarter size. Probably not any larger than quarter size. A big thank you to everyone who stands out in this and gets us report. What are we looking at there? It's a lot of pee I see there. Uh, it's about nickel sized tail. So nickel, maybe a little bit larger than nickel sized tail, not quite quarter sized tail right now. Live storm track, digital Doppler radar, and let's keep it south for a second here. Loop this, um, and let's watch our different wall clouds there. So that's wall cloud number one right there that Holly is still trying to look at. Wall cloud potential rotation number two, south on 87. So this is 87 and the interstate right there. This is going to end up missing the bulk of Lubbock. So good news in that respect. This is going to end up sliding a little east. The hail is going to get us. But the rotation, fortunately, at this point, unless something shifts or changes, probably is not. We get more and more hail reports because these, OK, apparently they've melted. But these were some good golf balls. I'm going to try to keep it in the shot here. I can't hardly keep that in the shot, but you kind of get the point near golf ball sized hailstones falling in South Lubbock. Now, there is massive hail all over the place.